played well enough. We made too many mental mistakes in the first half. The defensive alignments, offensively, we, we got in the wrong formation three or four times. We had a crucial fourth down. You know, we got a busted play there. We just didn't play well enough to beat a team that kind of was late enough. You know, we, we were challenged. I mean, you know, guy come in here with the just with the yardage he had. He's a great player, great team, well coached. You know, it was just a challenge to our kids to, to step up. And you know, we knew if we were going to make a run at the region like everybody's trying, that uh, you know we were going to beat a good Steertown team. And that's a good football team over there. But our kids, proud of them, of hanging in there. We got down early, uh, didn't panic, and just went to work offensively and defensively, and uh, came out with a big win. Like I said before, you know, we got three guys that just really stress the defense. I mean, you can't key on one because they all can be limelight players. And, uh, but, you know, it starts with the offensive line. We do a great job up front. And, you know, right now offensively we're rolling and defensively we kind of got our groove in and, uh, you know, running to the football and putting hats on people. So we're proud of the effort tonight. I thought our kids played hard. I just, we didn't play as smart and do a lot of things that we were coaching. Well, we, you know, we, Coach Pritchett, Coach Klein, the whole defensive staff have been just preaching about turnovers. I mean, we've done from day one, you know, it's all you hear us yelling at practice, you know, strip the ball, go for the ball and stuff. Um, you know, and, and it's paying off in big games like this. And I said in the paper earlier, it's going to come down to mistakes. And uh, so our kids uh, just hung in there, didn't quit. Our backs were against the wall a couple of times. And, uh, you know, we, we had some big turnovers.